Greetings, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Hello, and I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Ingrid's Insights. And my name is Ingrid, and I will be doing your March bonus reading. So let's jump right in and see what is it that my Pisces need to know right now. And first of all, let's ask the angel in aura oracles to give us affirmations to enter this month with and to bring to this reading. And these were our words and affirmations that you can say as you go into this month and bring to any uh, question or concern or challenge you might be facing. Shower of prosperity. Wow, well, Pisces, you're going to be jumping out of your treasure chest. Look at all this gold and coins and this beautiful golden energy. And this is your um, affirmation. I am wealthy. I have opportunities. I am successful. And I am a manifestation, um, making manifestations happen this month. And be careful of the shadow side of um, missing opportunities, Pisces, being unmotivated, feeling um, that you have a lack or that you're uh, being stubborn about your finances or something in your situation this month. So, uh, and let's bring um, the angel oracle just to uh, give us the theme of this reading that we can apply to the cards as they come in the tarot reading. And this is earth and ground, Pisces. Wow. Well, as you uh, are being showered with prosperity, you have to remember to earth and ground. Perhaps meditate, sit out in nature, receive energy from the earth. Because you see, uh, this angel is, is sitting in a pool of light. So that could be very important to you to bring your energy up from the earth as we enter this uh, beginning um, inklings of springtime. And so uh, let's begin. And spirit guides, thank you so much for overseeing this reading for Pisces for the month of March 2024 as a bonus reading. What is it that Pisces you need to know? right now from the tarot cards thank you so much this is you the king of cups well this um is the king of cups as you see this is a female figure but um as genders are fluid in tarot this is saying um that the king of cups is how you see the question pisces and this is a water sign like you might be um, and the king is able to stand in the middle of the ocean under these turbulent waters and um, uh, manage to um, navigate and um, to uh, steer this ship through troubled waters and this requires a lot of emotional intelligence and being balanced um, and being a good listener and being able to receive other people's maybe turbulent emotions about uh, something, but you stand calm and um, collected and can listen deeply. And what challenges that is the Two of Pentacles. Well, the Two of Pentacles is saying you're having to balance and juggle your finances, um, your time, uh, maybe you're uh, balancing work and play um, with the King of Cups or balancing how you um, are in a relationship or around other people's emotions. Um, but having that infinite, um, the infinity sign of saying uh, life is um, constantly uh, ebb and flow, up and down, balancing. And that is the challenge to this deep um, uh, realm of emotion and of intelligence in the emotional realm and as the foundation is of the eight of ace of cups well you see this ace of cups there is a love just pouring out of the cup and as it comes it flowers into butterflies so there's a lot of um, love and tender love at the foundation of this and then you got this king of cups who can manage all of these emotions and to um, 
manage mo emotions and to be present and listen and loving to others. And what just happened is a judgment call. Well, something came that you had to wake up to, uh, wake up to something about yourself, Pisces, or, or wake up to a situation um, and to uh, say, um, this is um, not serving me. And, and you might have been feeling like the um, walking dead, but you're waking up to a whole new life. And that was recently. And uh, what is at the crown as the advice is the hangman, where you, uh, this judgment call um, has <clears throat> said to you, Pisces, you've got to uh, surrender something. You've got to see something from a totally new perspective because this wake-up call is saying um, you're being turned on your head and you might have to sacrifice an old way of seeing or perspective or viewpoint and it's asking you to uh, surrender, sacrifice, uh, um, you know, hang there for a while, hang out, and uh, be patient with uh, something that this judgment call has brought you. And <clears throat> the King of Wands is happening right now, and that's saying that there is this, um, you've got the King of Cups that is able, as you see this question, um, balanced emotion, uh, deep emotions, uh, emotional intelligence, feeling um, for others and being able to balance that. And then you've got the King of Wands is saying this is where you need to be now, a Pisces, is in this um, energy of leadership, of going for what you really want and doing things in your daily life or in your uh um, environment or in your situation right now that fire you up, uh, that you bring your passion to, that you can be very confident about, uh, be that entrepreneurial spirit and go for something. And at the <clears throat> way you see yourself is um, Pisces. Wow, this is powerful. You see yourself as this magician bringing things down from the heavens and manifesting. Um, and this card had the, um, the uh, affirmation of manifestation. And so the magic might be that you're manifesting a lot of wealth, a lot of abundance uh, with this passion you're uh, bringing out, this charisma, this new creative idea. And you're bringing it down. Um, that is how you see yourself. And how you see the people you're dealing with is uh, the chariot. Well, they're moving forward. Uh, there's some, there's success, triumph, uh, energy uh, going out into a whole new world, maybe traveling. You're bringing in this treasure chest of Pisces, of amazing abundance, and you're making magic. You're manifesting, creating, and bringing it down and making it real. And then your environment or some, the people around you are going to help you uh, move that forward and be triumphant. And uh, the hope and fear is the four of pentacles. That um, The hope and fear is that you will be able to balance this abundance, to manage it, to um, have a lot of uh, fulfillment in the realm of your uh, resources and to um, uh, create that uh, abundance, this home, this beauty, this luxury, this... Um, Look at her outfit, look at her home, but uh, she's kind of got chains around that. So this is also saying the hope is to be abundant, to manage well, but the fear is don't be too greedy and stingy and clinging and just focused only on the material world because the advice is be the star. Wow, well, Pisces, you're shining, you're healing. Your optimism is growing. Um, you are um, using your talents and gifts and resources as you uh, come into uh, March 2024. So let's just do a recap. Pisces, you um, see this question, this situation that you're dealing with in March from a perspective of deep uh, emotional understanding. And that's how you see uh, the question, the situation. And you might be um, speaking to someone
who has um, these <clears throat> uh, that you trust deeply with your feelings, that makes you feel safe. And the challenge is the two of pentacles, that you have um, a lot of opportunities um, that you have to juggle and balance, um, work, uh, play, a relationship and career, but family life. So, um, and life is full of um, these infinite challenges and ups and downs. <clears throat> and at the foundation is the Ace of Cups, love, new love, a feeling of that spark of love that fills your cup over overflowing and brings about transformation and happiness. And uh, as we see, um, a lot of success and prosperity. There's a judgment call being made recently in the past, uh, waking you up to something that you have to deal with or deal with about a judgment you have to make within a relationship or within a way you feel about something. But it's saying uh, there was something heard loud and clear. And that um, led you to the hangman of um, having to sacrifice something that wasn't serving you, to surrender, to see something from a different perspective, and be willing to take the time to um, wait and heal. And this is at the uh, outcome. So there will be a whole new a way of looking at something coming. And you are uh, the king of wands right now in the uh, present moment. This <clears throat> focus is going to be on um, being uh, very charismatic, very dynamic, very passionate about something and going for it and um, using your charisma and <clears throat> your ability to be liked by a lot of people to take that energy out there and to make magic as you see yourself, the magician, manifesting something, manifesting abundance, um, prosperity, and earthing and grounding and bringing this down to earth because you and the environment <clears throat> is the chariot. Your um, environment is able to blend and balance different aspects of uh, their self, their the things they like, the things they don't like, the bright side and the shadow side, and to um, have those um, balanced so you can move forward out into the world with passion and success and triumph. And um, the hope and fear is that you will uh, have to be focusing so much on your um, resources and uh, balancing money and uh, <clears throat> maintaining it. Um, but it's saying that uh, this was the uh, card of the situation in March of how you see uh, what is um, the theme of the month. And it's uh, shower of prosperity, wealth, opportunity, success, and manifestation. It's coming with the magician and the chariot goes toward it. The four of pentacles you're balancing, but don't be too uh, focused on money. Because the star, you've got this healing, this optimism, this faith, hope, um, brightness coming as your advice. So a beautiful reading, Pisces. And let's get one uh, of our um, magical cards from our fairies that live with us and know just what we're thinking at all times and whisper to us messages that help us and you can take this into March, um, autumn. Well, this is saying um, Pisces, in the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance. So perhaps this prosperity uh, is coming in the fall and you will be uh, working and uh, on this abundance in it will come to full manifestation in autumn. So those could be important months for you um, at the end of um, September, October, and November. Those, and into December, those months could bring a, quite a bit of abundance. So I love seeing you here, and thank you so much for being in this interconnected field together today, uh, learning and growing and learning to earth and ground and receive that power from 
the um, earth as it comes alive in March and to know you have so much prosperity coming in the fall and the autumn months. And so, so please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And uh, Pisces, let me know how this story is unfolding for you. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye, Pisces.